Let me tell you the story of the frog and the boiling pot of hot water. One day, a frog was placed in a vessel or a pot of cold water. The frog was very comfortable, played and swam for some time. The pot was put on a stove and it was heated up gradually. At first, the frog didn't notice the gradual change in temperature because it's an ectotherm animal. There was a lurking danger that went unnoticed. The water in the pot was heating up ever so slightly. The frog acclimated itself or himself or herself to the gradual change in the temperature of water. However, the water was gradually getting hotter and hotter to a point where the frog failed to condition or adjust his body temperature to this gradual change of water temperature. Eventually, the water ended up getting to the boiling point. However, the frog failed to jump, even when he noticed the early signs of danger that was lurking. He failed to make any active or proactive move against this kind of risk and decided to stay in the pot, trying to survive in this environment of boiling water. The frog perished at the end because the frog was not able to make a quick decision based on the early signs of danger that he was seeing. This fable story, even if it's not true or is not based on a scientific evidence, showcases something very important that is especially present in the corporate business and government business that sometimes people fail to see the early signs or they see them, but decide that they condition themselves to this kind of danger, trying to survive in this kind of environment and not make the early move to another safer environment. They fail to see the impending danger from the beginning and they end up perishing in this kind of work without making the bold leap of faith to another safer environment. The moral lesson of this story is the importance of staying vigilant, aware of the surroundings, and noticing the early signs of danger that is lurking in our work environment. It also encourages us to address the issues and challenges proactively before they become crises. Thank you very much.